oh, this can be done. Some of these I just do literally while I'm like still in bed in the morning because they're so simple and they feel good and they're easy. I think you should be able to see me okay. I'm a little illuminated by the sun. Okay. Um, you see me okay? Good enough? All right. <laughs> so um, starting with, um, let's start at the top. Let's start with a head hold. And I'll invite you to take one hand over your frontal cortex and one over your brainstem. And allowing yourself to, again, use your breath and that visualization and the sensing as if you could breathe between your two hands. Maybe as if there's a stream of light connecting and flowing between your two hands right through the whole brain, the center of your brain. And then letting that go, pausing and sensing for a moment. And we'll go to the kind of opposite end here of the body, which is down to your feet. And just allowing yourself, you can do one foot at a time, both feet, however you'd like to greet your feet, whether that's just planting your hands just in a simple hold or a little self-massage, can be super light. You might even greet the toes on one foot and then the other, or between your toes. You could even rotate foot around your ankle for a moment. And then if you did that on one side, evening yourself out. Beautiful. And then from here, um, if you'd like a moment of one hand over your heart, one over your belly. And remembering that everything I offer here exists within that foundation of you are at choice. You can opt in, opt out. Eyes can be open or closed. And with a hand on heart and hand on belly, and some of you are already doing this, you might choose to sway a little bit side to side. It can be such a gentle rocking motion. It's the, an offering of loving presence to yourself. And then letting that go for a moment. 
just sensing along the way what happens as we stack these really simple practices. How does your nervous system give you feedback about that, your body, mind, emotions? Your breath. This next one, we'll call it the heart twist. Some of you have done this with me before. And with hands on the heart, just allowing yourself to expand to one side and come back to the midline and then expand the other direction, returning to midline and allowing your gaze to follow your hand in whatever range of motion and whatever rhythm serves you. And then perhaps experimenting with breath and movement together. And experiment with whether you'd like to find an exhale pattern on the outreach and an inhale to center. Maybe do a few of those. And then switching it out, an inhale pattern on the outreach. And then following what feels organic and natural. How does your body give you feedback about the breath pattern that serves you right now? And when you feel complete with this part of the practice, coming back to center for a brief pause. Uh, next movement, checking my microphone, <laughs> next movement is a little bit of flexion and extension. And we'll, I'll invite you to find this initially here with what we'll call Robin's breath, uh, hands to your shoulders, and an exhale pattern, drawing everything inward, and an inhale pattern, finding your range of motion as you expand. in this rhythm of expansion and contraction. And you get to play with finding your rhythm and your range of motion. You might even purposefully let that range of motion be very small. And then explore the broadening so long as it just feels good. You might Expand your wings and let your arms 
have a broader range of motion, only if that feels right for now. So that we're not stuck in expansion and we're not stuck in the contraction. We're reclaiming, you are reclaiming that full range of energetic expression of yourself. And then when you feel complete with this movement sequence, allowing yourself to find the pause. And just notice what that domain of movement awakened, inspired, touched for you. Next little movement here. I'll show this to the side. Um, no, I'll show this to the front. You'll see my feet better this way. So um, this movement will be a uh, invitation to rock your legs like little windshield wipers. And these are the European style windshield wipers. So you can, again, find a rhythm of this movement that serves you. I'm leaning back on my hands, nice and comfy, like it's, uh, you know, hanging out at the beach moment. And let that rocking of the legs, and just let them kind of flop in and out and feeling that little rhythmic movement up into your hips, maybe around your sacrum. Good. And then a little pause there. And in the pause, what continues to sequence in the stillness. Maybe a little tingly or sensing the movement of energy, the subtle movement that still is happening. Maybe you can even sense back all the way up to your brain. And what's happening up there? Good. If you'd like to continue, next movement invitation is to roll up and over into a cat cow. And from a cat-cow base, revisiting that flexion and extension. Your rhythm, your range of motion. Just tuning in to how your sensations guide you here. And then from a few breaths with this shape as your home base, any free form movements that you want to take to integrate the breath and movement and reflex integration we've done thus far your own pendiculation, just like your favorite animal waking up from a nap. Good. And from here, a little bit of 
contralateral integration if you so choose. So remember, everything is optional here. And if you're joining me, maybe sending your left leg back, maybe sending your right arm forward. I'm just feeling the core integration that's already here in this contralateral shape. And if you'd like, maybe taking elbow and knee toward each other under your body and inhale and exhale as you contract. Inhale as you reach. Good, one more like that. And then releasing hand, chin to the earth, maybe a little wiggle side to side. And side two, right leg, maybe left arm, pausing for a moment, sensing your that proprioceptive feedback of your body and the shape and gravity that's happening across the midline of your core. And on an exhale, elbow and knee, and inhale to expand and contract. breath and movement. Your rhythm. And when you feel even on both sides and shin to the earth, in a moment of quiet integration, maybe in child's pose, maybe simply sitting back onto your heels for a moment and noticing what's present for you here. And our final few movements before we do one more breath practice, our final few movements are going to be from a position laying on your back. So if you're choosing to join in for this part, laying all the way down and we'll start out with legs extended. I'll give a few options for the next one, but Legs extended for this first one, if you'd like. And it's the very same thing that we did seated, this time laying down. And the invitation is to windshield wiper your feet, European style. Toes in, toes out. And this time, as you do so, just again, allowing yourself to sense and feel the rhythmic element of that movement as it goes through legs and hips, belly, diaphragm, spine, maybe up to your shoulders. Maybe in your jaw, two sides of your brain. And then softening into stillness for a moment, sensing the residue. Uh, 
And this next one can be done either with your legs long or with your knees bent. And it's also a rocking movement. This is the heel rock. And some of you may have done this before. Maybe you've done it as part of this class with Christine. And the heel rock is just allowing your heels to initiate the movement. I'm going to show it first here, long legs. Maybe your arms are just totally by your side. And then again, you can sense how this rocking can reverberate and into all of your vertebrae, right? And your vertebra, you can sense it in knees, hips, your whole spine, shoulders, all the way down to hands. You can let your throat go, your head go with the movement. If you're more comfortable doing this with knees bent, it's the same thing. You are just pressing into feet. So the only thing that's initiating the movement in either form with knees bent or legs long, which is personally my preference here, um, is your heels. And then everything else gets to go for the ride, giving your whole body a little carnival ride for a few moments here, brain going for the ride, Let your head be rocked. And if you notice that there's any part of your body that is resisting the rock, send your breath there. And notice what happens. And just another breath or two. In this rhythmic experience. and then allowing the heel rock to come to completion and noticing perhaps a felt sense of chi or prana, the breath within the breath, your own life force energy, organizing and reorganizing Sensing your belly and heart and brain. That brain in your head, all three brains. Maybe sensing a little bit of the cerebral spinal fluid. and the other fluids that course their way through your body, the blood flow, lymph. And I'll invite you to roll onto your side you can use an arm here for a pillow and a little supported kind of side fetal position. And you might even, and if you need your hand in front of you, you can do this. You might even just give yourself a little rock here from the side, just rocking. Just two or three breaths here. before eventually resting and then pressing back to seated. I'm gonna shift closer, but we'll stay with our practice and we'll close this practice portion out with a final breath of um, the alternate nostril pranayama. So as we come into breathing together, finding a comfortable seat and 
And as we were talking about before, you can certainly do this traditionally as I'll guide here using your right hand, closing off right nostril, or you can just do this using the kind of imaginal capacity, breathing into each nostril and with your own mind's eye. If you're joining me here, closing off right nostril with right thumb and inhaling through the left. And exhale right. Inhaling right. And exhaling left. Inhaling left. Exhaling right. Inhaling right. Exhaling left. Inhaling left. Exhaling right. Inhaling right. Exhaling left. and then releasing your right hand. And one more time, resting and pausing in stillness. Noticing mind and body, breath, emotions, and energy. And then when you're ready, we'll shift out of the practice. It looks to me like I could stay in this practice for the next hour. Oh.